Today, we're opening 25 of the Rise of Dragon mystery packs to see what's inside and if we can profit. What's up, Breaker Army? I'm Cardbreaker. Welcome back to another epic video. Like you guys heard on the intro, we've got 25 of the Volume 5 Rise of Dragons mystery packs from our good friends across the pond, Yorkshire Yu-Gi-Oh! Collector and the Friendly Card Guy, aka Rick. Both amazing people in the community who have continued to make some really great mystery packs, so I can't wait to see what we're going to get. But before we get into these mystery packs and see just what's inside, you guys know I've got you with an epic giveaway. Like always, we're going to try and summon us some dragons by giving away one today. Pan for a chance to win, make sure you leave a like on today's video. Make sure you're a subscriber, make sure you guys are ringing that bell. And let me know down below what your favorite card pull today was, and if you think these mystery packs are a hit. These packs do come up very often. He's got volume six coming up right now, so definitely go check out these packs. Let's see what we can get today. And here we go, guys. This is a closer look at the volume five Rise of Dragons mystery packs. You get one hollow in every nine card pack. Really well done. I actually haven't checked out any of these packs yet, so this is my first time purchasing from the friendly card guy in Yorkshire. Definitely some guys you need to go check out. They loaded these mystery packs up. I'll pop up some info on the screen with all of the cards you can get in here. All the chase cards, of course. Absolutely insane. So we're going to see what we can get today. Let's not waste any more time. We've got 25 of these. It was about 150 bucks. So whatever that math works out to, I don't really... I think it was like 160 in total, like shipping. So whatever that works out to, not doing quick math right now. We're trying to open up some packs and see what we can get. Let me make sure we got everything out of there. It does appear. So I think we've got a sleeve card on our first pack. So that's actually really promising. Fairy Tale Sleeper, Fabled, we've got the Infernoble Knight Oliver. I'm, I'm guessing it's a lot of commons. And then we get into possibly the Hollow at the end. Ooh, King of the Swamp, that's a good one. We'll set that one to the side. we got the Prediction Princess, the Melfi Caddy. This is, ooh, what is this? ZS, the Ouroboros Sage. This is from Brothers of Legend. So again, I don't really know what the odds are entirely. I know they listed an insane amount of chase cards you can pull like ultimate rares we got some backward cards in here let's go this way ultimate rares there's i think it was like collector's rares just a lot of great rarities that you guys can get inside of these packs we got a tornado from force of the breaker the over destiny gimmick puppet the harpy's pet dragon from legendary collection is that joey's world that's really nice it is first edition because these all come in first edition for legendary collection joey's world but that's actually a big hit we got the hysteric party unchained twins monarch stormfront and a classic card destruction. I think what we'll do, we'll pop up a total on the side of the screen periodically just to see what our total is. You know, not that we're always trying to make our money back with mystery packs, but that would be nice. You know, we did spend about 150 bucks on these packs. So we're gonna see what we can get. We've got a Fossil Dig, the Magical Stone Excavation, Stardust, Zhao Long, Harpy's Pet Dragon. We got another Harpy's Pet Dragon. That's actually really cool. The Fearsome Fire Blast. That was from the recent Legendary Collection. The Starter Deck, Joey Dark Hole. Supply Squad, Unchained, and Burden of the Mighty. We've got 25 packs, guys. We've got some good chances to get some good stuff. So let's hope that uh, all the other good cards have been... Oh, we've got another sleeve card there in the back, so we're going to see what we've got. Oh, this is a first edition. This is Europrint, Ray and Temperature from LOB. We've got the Rock Bombardment from the Lost Millennium. A Soul of the Forgotten from PSV. We've got some nice OG commons here. Science Soldier... This is a Pharaoh Servant pack. Is this is this a theme here? Do we have a Pharaoh Servant hollow in the back? A Jama Trio and a Spell Shield Type 8. It is a little bit warped, but that is a first edition from Magician's Force. So luckily this warping can come out, but we've got a Pringled Spell Shield Type 8. That is awesome. Kind of crazy to see Magician's Force to be miscut like that. But that is nice. That really helps our total to get a first ed. We'll check conditions and stuff afterwards, but... First edition from Magician's Force. That's a set that does not get opened all that often anymore. So I don't know the best way to kind of hold these cards out spoiling it. Kind of like this since it's the sleeve. Got the block attack. Sogan from Legend of Blue Eyes. We've got a Metarator. another Euro print. We've got the Prevent Rat. Little Swordsman of Ale. I love that card. <laughs> We've got the Deep Sea Warrior. Gust. Eye of Truth. And it is... Oh, I love this card. We've got the Dark Magician Knight. This is from Reshif of, I think it's Reshif of, Reshif of Darkness. I think that's what it is. I love the prismatic flooring on this card. It looks like it has just a tiny bit of edge wear down there, but I really do like this card. So I'm happy to really get this one from these packs. I've got no clue what our total is sitting at right now. We're hoping to slowly creep up on that $150 threshold. If we don't profit, that's okay. Let's see, so we've got another nicely sleeved card there in the back. 
a starter deck Kaiba Sogin. So we've got the Cemetery Bomb. That's from uh, you say starter deck? I'm not sure. They're the compulsory. These are these are definitely like Euro print or something like that. Just an interesting texture. Elegant Egotist. We've got some structure deck cards here. Mystery Plasma Zone or Mystic Plasma Zone. Jinzo Lord, Mysterious Puppeteer, and it is the Vortex the Whirlwind. I know this card very well. It's one of the last cards I needed for my Storm of Ragnarok collection, so it's kind of cool to see that one. It's not first edition, but it is a hollow from Storm of Ragnarok, one of my favorite sets out there because obviously <laughs> Thor, Odin, Norse Gods, all that stuff. Got a Shifting shad Shadows, a Kamenite Blow, Penetrable Formation, the Picaroo's Second Sight, Minefield Eruption, Hyena. We've got the Battery Man C. A Battle Wasp Ballista the Armageddon from Battles of Legend. And what is this? Threshold Borg. This is from Mega Pack 22. I actually really like this sleeve. It fits really well with that card. But we're not here for some sleeves. We're here for some big pulls. We got to get something, guys. We've got 25 packs. 25. That's a really some really good odds to get us something big. So that's what we're hoping for. And I, again, I don't really know the best way to hold these cards without spoiling anything. Shadal Beast, the first edition Trojan Horse. That's nice. Set that one to the side. First edition Rock Bombardment. Looks like we're kind of spoiled. We got a magic card there in the back for our last card. Another CRV Flaming Eternity card, Arm Samurai. And it is the Earth Chant. This is another card from Mega Pack 22. What are your guys' thoughts so far on these packs? Are these some that you're going to be picking up? Again, these are from Yorkshire's Collectible. I think it's Yorkshire Yu Gi Oh! Collectibles or something like that on Instagram. But definitely go check them out. Like I said, him and Rick do have some really good claim sales. They do continue to make these packs, which are, are loaded with some big hits. We're just hoping to get lucky and hit one of those today. Got the Fukubiki. I love that card. I think it's, what is it, Lightning Over, yeah, Lightning Overdrive. King Pyron, Maneater Bug, a Menace to Society. Woo! That is a Toon World. Um, let's see what else we got in here. Lava Battle Guard, a Toon World Secret Rare? This is, I think, a Series 2 print Toon World, so that is really nice, guys. Definitely check that one out. That is a Ultra Parallel Rare, for those who do not know, where it kind of, it's like a Hobby League card, basically. That is really cool. I don't, I didn't know they actually printed this one in the Ultra Parallel Rare, but I'm happy with that one. It's not in, like, perfect condition, but it is still really cool to see the uh, Ultra Parallel Rares, because you just don't see them all that often. It's like we may not have something too great in this pack, but that's okay. You can't get bangers in every single pack because they wouldn't be making any money. <laughs> we got the Insector Ladybug, Dimension Shifter. That's actually a nice reprint. Contact C. We've got the Fabled Marcosia. We've got the Baratov Sleeper. Oops, skipping right past it to the, what is this? Numbers Protection. This is from Brothers of Legend. We are hitting some really good comments, but that's not what we're here for. We're here for some of the bigger hits. I know there was like an ultimate rare Stardust Dragon. There was a couple other like thrown in ultis, like a Dark Paladin ultimate rare. Yes, that one does come as an ultimate rare. If you missed my mail day video, I do actually own one of those. We got the Ordeal uh, of a Traveler, the Ghost Trick Doll, Swords of Concealing Light, and the Azure Eyes uh, Silver Dragon. This is from the Starter Deck Blue Eyes. Do love that card a lot. The Sioux Ship, Stardust Trail, Armageddon Knight. Come on, 25 chances. Where is the luck? We gotta hit something big. We gotta hit something big. We absolutely have to. Ancient Gear from Shadows of Infinity. The Harpy Lady 3, lovely classic from Rise of Destiny. Taunt from Soul of Destiny. We've got the Arm Dragon at level 3. Oh my gosh, I love all these throwback cards. Science Soldier, I'm putting those to the side for sure. A Final a final Ritual of the Ancients. Psychic Bounder, and it is, what is this? Victor Victorica Angel of Bravery. I don't remember seeing this one from Ghost from the Past 2. This one came out from Ghost from the Past 2, but that is a first. And it's I'd probably not worth a bunch. I don't think there's really anything from Ghost from the Past 2 besides the Ghost Rares. And maybe the, uh, what is it, a Luber? That's like maybe $5 on a good day? <laughs> anyway, we've got the White Ninja, the Commencement Dance, classic from Magic Ruler. Mesmeric Control, the Slot Machine, absolutely classic from Magic Ruler as well. That is original print, Final Destiny. White Shoes, the Abyssal Designator, and it is the, oh, a first edition Ryu Senshi. Oh, that is cool. We got to check out the condition on this guy. You don't really see the first edition classics come up all that often. So this one actually looks to be in pretty good shape. Pretty good shape, like roughly like light play. Not bad. That is a really nice pull. I will definitely take that one. That really helps build up our total. Getting through our stack of mystery packs here. We're kind of getting down to it. There is another sleeve card. I know you get one haul with every pack, but I'm hoping that these bigger sleeve cards mean we get some bigger hits. <laughs> Morphtronic, we've got the Nightmail, the Dark Bonder, 
Moki Moki Adrift, that's a classic throwback card there. Parliament's Merly, okay, a Sprite Pixies and the Void Feast. This is from Brothers of Legend, so nothing crazy. I think that's just another, like, ooh, this, this one feels thicker. Maybe we got something good in this one. Maybe we got something really good. I, I don't know. It just felt, it felt thicker for some reason. We've got the Mech Lord, another Mech Lord, Army of Weisel, the Lucky Iron Axe, Gagaga -ga -ga Bolt, and... Oh, congratulations! Whoa, what did I win? You have won a PSA 8 Blue Eyes White Dragon Legendary Collection 1. Oh, okay, there we go. So we actually hit something big. So I got to contact Yorkshire Yu-Gi-Oh! Collector. So that's his name, Yorkshire Yu-Gi-Oh! Collector to rain shipping. So that's really cool. So I did not know, or I may have just forgot, but he does have these throw-in cards here where you can win some other things as well. That's a big win. I would definitely take that one. Does it actually come with some cards too? I think it does. It's got like maybe one or two cards. So yeah, just this the one card here, the Spiritual Whisper. Oh, that's really cool. So I will happily take that one. There is a big win. PSA 8 of the Blue Eyes White Dragon. It's a Blue Eyes, guys. It is a Blue Eyes. Yes, it's from Legendary Collection, but cannot be mad about that one. That is for sure. We've got uh, maybe about 10 packs left. We're going to see what else we can get. I don't know what our total is looking like. Like I said, we said it's been about, about 160 on the pack. So we're, we're creeping up there. We are creeping on up. Luster Dragon number two. We've got, oh, we've got some rares in this one. The other packs were all just commons. Evil Twin, the Peacock from Starter, or what is this? Spell Roller EN. Okay, so some EN prints. I'll take that. And it is the Ice Barrier. Didn't we get this one before? Looking like we got about 10 packs, maybe a little bit under left for these mystery packs. We got to hit something big, guys, to really make a big dent in the money that we spent on these packs. The Pot of Dichotomy, Bot, not Bot, Pot of Generosity, End of the World. I like that artwork a lot. Regenerating Mummy, the Luster Dragon. We've got the Inferno Fire Blast. Oh, <laughs> Supervise and Humpty. What? I have never seen this card before. That? Oh my god. <laughs> So not only does Konami make some really strange names for cards, but they actually make some really wild artworks. It, uh, I'm, I'm speechless. That that's an interesting one. I can't really, uh, can't say much about that, guys. We've got the Gravitic Orb. I'm saying that right. Chusuke, the Mouse Fighter, the Electric Virus, Rush Recklessly, as uh, Rexon says, the Arizona Razorbacks or Arkansas Razorbacks, not Arizona. We got the Bear Blocker, Tuned Magician, Jinzo Ejector, Elemental Hero Bersinatrix, and the Metabo Shark. We're getting some uh, really interesting looking cards. We got back to back some really strange looking artworks for our cards. So maybe this one means we're going to get something even wilder on this pack. Crystal Promise. We got the Search Lightman. Okay, so he's just a bunch of uh, light bulbs there. We've got the Destiny Hero, Hero Captain, Battery Man C. If I choose again, a Fishboard Blaster, we've got the Rallus, the Starbird, and the Gusto Eagle. So we got some uh, pretty weird looking monsters back to back to back. I don't know what's going on there. If that was intentional, but that was actually kind of funny to get those all in a row. We've got the Evo Karma, Phenomaly, Wing Sphinx, the Poison Fangs. That's a nice little throwback. Mind Wipe, the Spiritual Wind Art, Miyabi, Zubaba Knight. The Junk Barrage, Fisher, and the PM Captor. This is from What's Up? <laughs> I think that's World Superstars, if not mistaken. Five packs remain in this bundle. Ah, 20 packs down, five left to go. Let's see what we can do. Haven't hit anything massive like he has on his chase list, so we're going to hope that we can actually strike some crazy luck. We got the Ebon Magician, Battery Man, Double A, Mother Grizzly, and Dark Snake Syndrome, and the Different Dimension Dragon from Dark Crisis. Ah, oh, you guys know me too well. This is from one of my favorite sets, and I love this dragon, how it's just the actual monster that's holographic. Reminds me of the, um, what are they, the Shining Monsters from uh, from Pokemon, where you have like the Shining Celebi, Shining Gyarados, Shining Charizard, where it's just the monster that's holographic. So that's actually really cool. Oh, we have another, oh my god, we have another slab or something, some crazy prize. Hammer Shark, Agent of Destruction Venus, Flower Dino, and congratulations, I've won a Blue Eyes Mystery Box. Oh, <laughs> we literally just opened up a UK Blue Eyes Box, so we actually just won another one. Oh, that is awesome. That'll be coming tuned to uh, the video there, so let's see. So there's our main guy, UK Blue Eyes. That is awesome. I will happily take that, and we do have a hollow. So there is our card. Thank you, UK Blue Eyes, for doing this. It comes with a motor shell. That is awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you for sending in the uh, the chance to even get that. I do. Uh, I think I've opened up quite a few of his mystery boxes, 
And I do actually have a little code with him now. So a little plug in here. If you guys want some of those, make sure you check out my last video and use my code CardbreakerGT5. Get you guys 5% off. Instant Neo Space. Let's see what else we can get in these. So we've won some pretty good stuff. We haven't hit any of the big cards, but we did win a slab and a free mystery box. Cannot be mad about that one one bit. Cybernetic Zone, Battery Man D, got the Dust Tornado, Flame Ogre, and it is the Car Car D. <laughs> what a really weird card. Two packs remain in this mystery bundle, and I, I think it's been a blast. It really has. We've hit some pretty good cards. We got some of the chasier cards, I will say, or chasier items, uh, not really cards, but I am very happy with it. We've got the Electric Lizard Classic from Magic Ruler, the Knight of the Dark World, Cemetery Bomb, Rod of the Mind's Eye, Deep Sea Shark, Meta Raiders, Rishadal Wendy, and it is the Ghost Mourner and Moonlit Chill from Mega Pack 22. Let's see what our very last mystery pack can be from our guys, Yorkshire and Rick. We have a nicely sleeved card there in the back. We've got a first edition Euro print Carbonala Warrior from Magic Ruler. That is really cool. So we've got the White Magician Pikaru, the Magical Blast, a Reload. I'm trying not to spoil. It looks like we've got a uh, Effect Monster back there. Destiny Hero, we've got the Ancient Gear Soldier, Mind Golem, and the last card for these packs. What is it going to be? It is... Oh, that is a misprint. Oh, that is... I've never seen one of these. That is a Reinforcement of the Army misprint with the Legendary Fisherman. I've only kind of... I've, I've never owned one of these. I've seen these before, but that is really cool. I don't know what the value is on one of these. I'll try and find it on like maybe eBay or something. But I know these are kind of hard to come by. They were, you know, sort of popular, sort of not. But that's actually really cool. So I'm very thrilled. I am very happy with everything we got. Yes, we didn't hit any of the big chase cards like the Ultimate Rare Stardust Dragons and things like that. But we actually got some really nice throw-ins from great people in the community like UK Blue Eyes. And we got a slab. So guys, definitely go check out Friendly Card Guy and Yorkshire over on Instagram. All their information will be down below in the description. But if you guys are interested in watching some more of the content, make sure you click one of the two videos at the very end. I do hope you guys have a nice day, but have a nice night. I will see you guys in the next one. This is Cardbreaker. I'm out.